Hey there. Uh, this is Dean Walker from livingresilience.net and also uh, the Poetry of Predicament podcast and also um, the generator of uh, Safe Circle uh, support calls that have been going on for about seven years now for the Collapse Aware community. And uh, this is a very brief message going out to everybody that I've just mentioned, plus the folks that are on the newsletter list. This is just a very brief update about uh, some things that are going on in our very new space. It's a mighty networks environment. And uh, of course, it, we call it living resilience as well. And uh, I'd be really thrilled if you haven't checked it out to please come and do so. We'll, of course, have the link down in the show notes of this video. And uh, man, we've got a lot going on. Uh, it's still very new, but you know, we've still posted oh, so little. <laughs> I wish we had far more, but it can only go as fast as it does. We're still posting events to the calendar. We're posting new courses that are available at virtually every level of membership that goes on in the Mighty Network space. And um, particularly, I'd like to talk to you about some of the, the things that are available at any level, including the free new member level, which I'd, I'd really appreciate it if, if you've enjoyed any of the content in any of those platforms I've just mentioned. I hope you'll uh, you know, just click on the Mighty Network link and, and come on in, find out about it, uh, just sign up at that free level. And I'd like to also just nudge you toward um, signing up for the book club special focus group. We've got a number of special focus groups, and um, I'm going to go make this as brief as I can, so I won't be covering nearly uh, all the groups. But particularly the book club, I'm very, very excited about. We're going to be starting it up on Wednesday, and this is Monday, September 5th. So uh, our first meeting of a series of eight different sessions for this book club series. And this is going to be My Grandmother's Hands from Resma Menicum. And uh, I've just been so... Uh, so incredibly resonant with and encouraged by the the brilliant writing of Resma Menicum and in this book, My Grandmother's Hands, is where he started out. This is a few years old, this book, and and it's primarily based in a in a racial justice, uh, a racial racialized trauma setting and framing. Um, but I'm I'm just. Uh, extremely impressed by and moved by his inclusion of embodied practices at the end of every one of the chapters of this book. And, and uh, that's, to be really frank with you, that's what I've found is needed for this kind of work. The days of just dro <laughs> doom scrolling uh, to get our fix every day about how things are collapsing and so on, or the apocalypse and so, all that. Uh, there's just really no there there. Uh, we've done as much of that as I think is useful to do uh, at scale. Certainly, I've had my time in it. And it's not that I'm trying to be in denial about anything getting worse over time. I still very much keep a finger on the pulse of what's going on. And I'm happy to bring those curated uh, updates to the uh, live living resilience community uh, from time to time. And I have a number of uh, resource lists that can help a person find a curated, a carefully curated view of these updates uh, across the board. Uh, but what really seems to be the call, called for method these days is to have embodied learning, something that happens in our experience, in our feeling body, uh, in a number of what could be called bodies within us, you know, how we process mentally, how we process emotionally in, in our feeling body. These are all so very, very important, and we just don't get to move those significantly if we're just 
doom scrolling through the internet, you know, on a daily basis. So I would invite you to join us in this very experiential deep dive into Resma's work. Uh, he's an extraordinary, you know, whether you join us or not, I mean, you're welcome to sign up and, and come to as many of the ses sessions as you can. I'm also providing a kind of a workbook that's distilled from his book so that it's easier to have conversations about those experiential exercises. So hopefully some part of this will pique your interest. You're so welcome. Again, the link to find out more and then sign up for this basic new member level uh, membership in the Living Resilience new community environment, please come on and, and try it out. When you get there to that sign up page, first thing you could do is go to this uh, groups tab and find the book club, all the information, the Zoom link, the schedule for all the sessions and that uh, support the support materials, they're all there waiting for you. So and if you have any questions, any uh, difficulty with any part of that, I'll also be putting my contact information there in the show notes as well. So please don't hesitate to be in touch if you need any questions answered about this process. I wanted to tell you a little bit about other things that are coming on. We've got a number of events coming up, uh, ranging from informational, basic informational, um, inf the, the sessions that we're going to be putting on uh, Saturday mornings Pacific time in the um, Mighty Networks space will be posting all the Zoom links and the times and days and so on. We'll be putting uh, some of that information down in the show notes again so that um, if you have any, any questions at all about what's coming and what is this thing and you know how's, how is this growing, what does it include? be really uh, thrilled to have you come uh, to any or all of these Saturday sessions. They can be relatively brief, probably an hour for each one. And they'll, they'll be through certainly through the Saturdays of uh, September here in 2022. Uh, also, I'm guessing probably a couple of the Saturdays into October as well. And um, they they will all the recordings will all be posted on the Poetry of Predicament podcast um, here in the YouTube environment, so uh, you can just check out those each of those elements at your leisure then as well. I'd like to also mention that we've got some some really exciting um, special guest presenters uh, coming in between now and the end of the year and well into next year as well. Uh, we're going to really have some good, good focused uh, presentations from folks who really have something to say about how to lean into this uh, daunting future that we've got ahead of us. What are the practices, you know, uh, that we can inst instill in our lives and with each other that will have us be able to be closer with one another? How can we reconnect with other people instead of feeling more and more distant as things seem to be going around the world, but especially here in the USA. <clears throat> We're also going to be having special focus uh, courses and events on a number of different topics. Again, you're going to hear about those in those Saturday sessions, but just a brief overview. Um, we're going to be having a, a number of special events on and courses on grief and metabolizing grief in a here in a culture that is just desperately ill-equipped to metabolize its grief. And there are multiple layers that are foundational here in the USA and, are, and actually in cultures around the world. And uh, it's a very important aspect in my judgment to, to be diving into and getting good at, at the very personal level, at the level of family, at the level of neighborhood. Um, so that's one focus. We're also going to be doing a, a tremendous amount of uh, looking at a number of dimensions of trauma, starting with this kind of easy entree that uh, Resma Menachem gives us 
in my grandmother's hands, we're also going to be having special guest presenters and offering a number of different courses that allow us to integrate at whatever levels appropriate for each person. It'll be different for you and me. And we'll be able to kind of pick and choose the level of engagement with the study of healing trauma in our lives. Um, that's going to be a special focus over time here as well. So again, if that piques your interest, please come on in, sign up, and uh, watch this thing formulate over these next few weeks um, into something quite extraordinary, certainly before the end of the year. One of the last things I'd like to mention to you is something that I've had as a kind of a just a personal uh, focus for the past few years. And uh, this is starts with a shout out to the folks over at uh, Rebel Wisdom, another web, web based uh, community started by a couple of guys in the UK, just extraordinary. Yeah, they went to scale in just weeks, and they went up to 10s of 1000s of people subscribing and and primarily their focus was on sense making. They did a number of different tracks, but that was really their signature track. And um, I, I've got to say that I've watched hundreds of hours of the uh, usually white, usually male and extraordinarily bright people that they brought in uh, to, to speak about various kinds of sense making. How do we make sense of these insane times? And uh, I, I got a lot of value out of that. And I still have archives full of hundreds of hours of those um, sense-making videos. But I, I've got to say that I've really taken a different track. And uh, I, it's similar to the one I was just describing about how uh, it's really the days of just doom scrolling as the only way we self-regulate. Uh, those, those days are done. It doesn't work as a, as a self-regulation or a co-regulation practice, nor does sense-making from a white male privileged, you know, business as usual framing of sense-making, which most of their uh, very, very good work, uh, people far brighter than I'll ever be. So I don't at all mean to judge these are bad people or, or they were off track. They're their uh, counsel is wise and you'd be advised to, you know, try some out, check it out. I'll uh, be happy to put some, a link in the bottom of the show notes here for you to check some of that out. I'm mentioning sense-making here because there will be a course and there will be a special focus group uh, starting up. Actually, it'll be formed and the shell of it will be in place this week. And it'll build out uh, for the rest of this year and uh, obviously into next year as well with an extraordinary and very different set of uh, resources and sources for that entire conversation. I'd invite you to check it out. Um, again, it is not at all to say there was anything wrong with how Rebel Wisdom did their track. And it has been useful for, for me as long as it has. And I have a feeling that this will be an extraordinary new track for any of us who have done any amount of that earlier track of sense making. So again, if any of these pieces have piqued your interest, I just invite you to come check it out and sign up for uh, just the, the basic new member membership uh, at the uh, community space for living resilience. Again, the link is below. Um, if you're inclined, please do get yourself a copy of my grandmother's hands and come join us this coming Wednesday, uh, 930 to 11 Pacific time in um, you know, the, the Zoom link and so on, again, is, is right there in the book club as, you've, as you sign up for it there at the free level in the Living Resilience Community space. I think that's about as much as I want to deliver in this time. Thank you for taking these few minutes to just hear me offload about the new stuff. It's very, very exciting. Um, I'll be happy to bring you more substantive 
offloads in the in the coming days uh there's such interesting material and give you a, a few tastes of it and it will also show up uh quite a bit in the poetry of predicament many of the episodes there will be uh, reflections of what's being offered in the community space so i hope you all are, are well in these times i know here in the usa and elsewhere in the world uh, we are dealing with you know, massive drought where I live and massive heat waves. And um, in certain parts of the West Coast, we're looking at the uh, possible um, drought to the extent that we will lose power and water both uh, within months and possibly weeks uh, for certain large chunks of population. So my heart goes out to all of us and uh, wherever else in the world, there are so many different kinds of extreme events going on, not to mention war and still COVID, you know, is crawling around in the background and insane politics in so many places. I wish us all uh, uh, a newfound sense of, of peace and grounding and settling ourselves into our bodies, self-regulating and, and co-regulating together. Um, this is the, really the time to come together with, with each other and learn and deepen those skills together and hope you'll join us in Living Resilience Community Space for doing that. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.